guys and welcome back to the Rovers Report where in today's video we will be covering all things contract extensions, Nicholson, Evans, having a little look around at any other Rovers related news. Uh, I appreciate that it's obviously the off season and there's fuck all really going on. Um, so I appreciate your patience with me. It's quite difficult to make videos at this time just because, like I said, there's nothing happening. Uh, with that being said though, if you do like this video, please give it a like. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, leave comments down below. I really like having that sort of engaging conversation with viewers. So yeah, please don't hesitate to leave your opinions down there. Um, and yeah, let's get into the video. So our first topic is the Anthony Evans contract saga. And for me, I think, although obviously a lot of gas heads want him to sign as soon as possible, this is one of those where I think both parties are going to wait a little bit, see what happens. You've got to remember that I believe Anthony Evans' contract actually runs out at the end of June. So he's still got just just under a month to sort of assess his options, see what offers come in, and then decide where he wants to be playing his football next year. I would imagine that some of the offers that he'll be receiving will be from what you'd expect to be high-end League One clubs um, who will probably be offering, offering him slightly more money than he might get at Rovers and obviously the chance to play at a bit more of a historic and ambitious financially sort of club. Uh, with that being said, I do think that Wale has proven himself to, to back Barton and I think if Barton said to him, look, we need to, we need to improve Evans' contract situation in terms of wages, I think he'd do that. So I think what would probably be the thing that swings Evans is the size of the club. You know, if a sort of a Portsmouth came in with similar wages to Rovers or Sheffield Wednesday or something like that, then that is when I can see Evans moving on. But as I said, he's still got just a, just over two two weeks to decide on this. And my gut feeling on this is that he will probably be moving on. Just because I think, you know, if I know he's got to look over his options and everything, but you sort of, you have an idea of where you want to be when the season ends. And especially coming off of such a great season with Rovers, you think, oh, the chemistry's there. He's obviously well liked by all the staff and the fans. So, yeah, for me, I think they say no news is good news. But in this case, I do expect to see an announcement probably just at the start of July, saying that he will be moving on, which is a shame. But, you know, you can't be held to ransom by your players. So if he's demanding loads and Barton thinks that he can get someone else, then so be it. But obviously I want him to stay. But yeah, for me, I think the situation at the minute points towards him potentially leaving. Now moving on to Sammy Nicholson. And this one again for me is... A tricky one because I think Sam Nicholson obviously last year played in a very poor Rovers team and actually performed very well. And you know this season he, I wouldn't say he hasn't been bad, but I think the levels that we know we can play at, he has been slightly disappointing. So I would be surprised if he's got any offers higher than sort of top end League One. And even then, I think it would still be a bit of a gamble for that team to purchase him so I mean I think Sammy Nicholson's either holding out for a move to Scotland or an improved offer from Rovers and I think I would be tempted to give him that improved offer because we know when he's on form he is definitely a top top end league one player and he'll be a very valuable asset to Rovers in league one so yeah for me I think he either goes to Scotland or he stays at Rovers. I don't think he, he's, he's obviously not going to go to a League Two club. I don't think there's many clubs in League One that would take him off our hands. And yeah, yeah, for me, it's Scotland or Rovers. And I would side more with him staying at Rovers, I think. In other news, sort of Rovers related, there's a couple of things. First up, we've seen that Ben Garner has joined Charlton Athletic. Now, I do a bit more of a full breakdown in a previous video, which I'll put in the link below. So if you want to go and have a look at that, I sort of discuss a few things around Garner's time at Rovers and how I think that he'll get on. Uh, just a quick summary of that. I would say that, you know, it's he obviously has a specific type of play, 
play style that he likes to implement. And I think for Charlton, they've obviously seen that and thought it's going to please the fans. You know, it's a progressive style of play. It's the right way to play football. We all know that there's many different ways to skin a cat. But um, yeah, I mean, like I said in the video, he you have to credit him. He did a good job at Swindon on a shoestring budget. So yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see how he does on at Charlton. I think if they give him a bit of patience and a bit of time, I wouldn't be surprised to see them doing quite well. They've got a good tradition of bringing through players from their academy and Garner being a, you know, he's worked in that sort of industry. I think it could could prove to be a very shrewd appointment, but only time will tell. And the only other two things really of note, uh, Rovers related, sort of League One-ish, are that Elliot Anderson obviously played for the Scotland under 21s the other day. I think I saw a few things on Twitter saying that he had a good game. Um, off the back of that, there were rumours speculated that Sheffield Wednesday are also interested in looking at Elliot Anderson. And, you know, I think they obviously have ambitions to be challenging for the title, to be honest, in League One. So I can see why Newcastle sending him back there would be a good option. Um, I mean, to be honest, taking any Rovers bias away from it, that sort of seems like a no-brainer. If you want to send him back to League One, then Sheffield Wednesday are almost one of the only teams you could probably guarantee are going to be up there. Uh, he'd be playing in front of a big crowd, you know, with more pressure on him. So I think if that sort of team's interested in him, it's more than likely he'll go there. I mean, I know you can make the argument saying that he knows the Rovers system, Barton knows him, he was happy here. But yeah, I think if Sheffield Wednesday are interested, he's not coming back here. Um, and Billy Bowden has signed a contract extension at Oxford United, which... I mean, I don't think any Rovers fans expect him to come back here or anything like that. But it's just interesting to see that, you know, despite being given his opportunity at championship level, and I know injuries haven't been kind to him, that he's sort of settled around League One. And I spoke about this on a previous video with Tom, that it's interesting that him and Matty Taylor have sort of ended up back where they were when they left us. And... You know, they've that seems to be their level. So, yeah, especially the snake who moved to Bristol City and then ended up back in League One. Didn't really work out for him. Uh, yeah, so Billy Bowden signs a two-year contract extension at Oxford. So we will be facing him and Matty Taylor next year. Have it, Gasheads. That was my sort of Rovers roundup, shall we say. Uh, as I said earlier in the video, I know there's not a lot going on really news-wise, so the videos will be slowing down a little bit. But um, if there's anything you'd like to see, please let me know. I'll leave all the links to my socials in the description. So pop over there, give me a follow and send me a message or send me a tweet and I'll try and get them done. You know, sort of top 10 videos, anything like that, I'm happy to do. So yeah, let me know. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And hopefully, fingers crossed, there's some good news coming out. Or, to be honest, any news. Because, like I said, it's been very quiet. But enjoy your day, gasheads, and up the gas.